gut-wrenching scene and having a hard time shedding the feelings that your character was going through. Do you have any techniques to ground yourself and just get back to being... When they call cut. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, do you take the character home, basically? Yeah, if it's like it? something heavy like Heath Ledger. You know what, it's true, I think you do actually. Like when I play that sort of alcohol, you know, if you really allow yourself to go there, it does take some pulling back. So it's like an, if you go into therapy and if you don't know your way back from something, you, you would need a guiding hand to get you back from a, a dark place or a memory or whatever it is. You need a guide, you know. But, um, so, I imagine, I think that it's uh, however deep you want to go. I mean, you could keep playing. I know before I've taken characters where I just like, hmm, what would this feel like uh, for a while? She's much the... more inclined to be <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not joking, I'm not joking at all. But, yeah. but, but, but I'm curious. She'll go. Yeah. Well, I did that with uh, the Criminal Minds episode. I was really fast, not fascinating at all, but I was just thinking, wow. Can you imagine going to the grocery store and then, my gosh, your whole world just changed. Boom, like that. What would it be like? And you still have to buy groceries. So, yeah, you know. Go. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it felt What did it feel like? Oh, it's so sad. But then, you know, you go home and you go, whoa. Thank you, God, so much. I have a beautiful family and I'm blessed and everybody's healthy and happy. And you just go, wow. Yeah, mustn't grow up over it. Lucy, can you, can you tell us a little about Angel of Death and how you like how yes. you acting with Zoe Bell? Angel of Death. Um, it was cool. I was um, up at five in the morning driving to downtown somewhere in this really, you know, funky part of town. I'm thinking, wow, I'm going to act like an old hooker <laughs> in a, an internet movie starring my old son woman. <laughs> Like, what has happened to me? <laughs> but I love her. And it was awesome. Actually, I really loved it because, you know, I mean, you did go there and it was... Um, I hope it was good for her to work with me too because she knew that she was uh, with a friend who wouldn't, you know... Um, she wasn't alone when we were together because acting's new to her. And um, she can do she can do any dad thing she wants. I just love her. I'm so proud of her. Um, I don't know when that comes out. Do you know? March. March. Yeah. I play a skanky old hooker, and I'm all like wearing all these stained plastic clothes. It's so fun. I love that. To be able to yes, Missy. Fly of the Concords. Yeah, they're doing um, three, 13 episodes. I think this season, every season. And I think I'm in episode 12. It's called New Zealand Town. <coughs> Hello. Oh my God. Run off the set, Lucy. I did. I got thrown off the set. Oh, I got in a little bit of trouble for this. I dressed up like I had like eight hours to kill, and of course Lucy's not going to sit quietly. Admit. <laughs> so I went into like the extras dressing the wigs and everything, chose this really nasty old wig, and, and um, put on some big pants and, a, and an old knitted cardi, and uh, I think they had glasses or something. I can't remember. And really, just really bad shoes. They might have had like they were big shoes, and they had. Um, Maybe they're like black and white checks. I don't know, just something just uncool. I'm sorry if anybody's wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> and I went and was just, they were shooting a scene where in the playground it's a school and Guy Pierce is supposed to be looking at Carrie Russell and recognises her as Skeeter's new girlfriend, right? And so I was in the background of the shot smoking. <laughs> Like a teacher, like so, all like, and they were like some old drug addict has won the scene, and I was, I was like bossing the kids around. <laughs> they didn't know it was you at all. They didn't know you. Not, only like one guy, and I got the B-roll guy to actually film John while I was doing, so he filmed the whole thing. But I suspect that they took that tape and like destroyed it because, like, like, it was like, it's not the Lucy show. <laughs> 
and I'm like, shoot, B-roll for my own movie. It was, and oh my god, I don't know how funny it was from the outside, but it was so funny on the inside. And, and the, the cop, you know, I'm getting moved on, I'm getting moved on. The cop's standing in the middle of the road going, you people, to the extras, you people, get across the road. And I'm like, yeah, you get across the road. And I'm going, I'm a member of SAG! That's what I'm going to fuck you up! <laughs> Alright, I just got a hand there, right? Or something like that. Um, drop me, put my hand up. I remember now, my shoes were thongs, that's alright, they were the flip flops, right? And as I'm running off, and Jason's filming the whole thing. And, and I'm running off, and I'm still ranting and raving, I can't even spare. And one of my shoes comes off, and I'm picking up, and I'm threatening them about the waist of my flip flop. Greatest time that I filmed, I pretended that I was in Adam Sandler's trailer. And like, like I was one of those crazy fans who wants to get get it with you. you know? <laughs> and I had this bottle of wine, but it was like half a bottle of wine from the producer's trailer, which probably shouldn't have taken that. <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm there pretending like, oh, is Adam coming? And then and I'm sitting on the toilet going, and he's just shooting my teeth, and I'm, I'm sort of pouring the wine to make a wee sound, you know? <laughs> And my, and my toes are going like this, ladies, I'm the boot. I'm saying, I'm saying. And then cut to later on, it's like now it's dark. And I'm, you know, I'm waiting for him to come. And I'm wearing, and then I strip off those really bad underwear on, right? Like big granny pants. Sorry to anyone who's wearing them. Big granny pants, really big, nasty brown. I'm like, and I've got wine all over me, like she's opened the wine because she couldn't wait any longer. And it's like spill over like catatonic on the bed. I've got it all on tape. And then we showed some of them later and they were sort of laughing, but after that, like, <laughs> <laughs> Cool breeze. <laughs> like, did you ever show that to Adam? Did Adam ever see that story? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but I got a bit of trouble with that. But I can't help myself. But I think they think that you have some ulterior motive, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> you have a lot of energy, you know, burn it up, idle hands, devil's work. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it! <laughs> Are you trying to move a phone, Sharon? Shirts on. I know, me cut off, tracksuit pants. And... I'm just taking clothing lessons from you. Amazing. I'm trying to grow up. This lady here? 